Okay, I think we're up to video four now. Let's see where we left off. Okay, this is just some travel coconut oil. Um, I never used this brand before, and to be honest with you, I, I can't even find if it said unrefined, but always try to get unrefined, obviously, or cold pressed. And I used this just to moisturize. I did try to do the oil pulling with this. I'm not sure, you know, yet. I'll, I'll have to keep trying it and see if I like it, but um, I did try that um, oil pulling a few times to see if it helped um, with my teeth and my throat and all of that that it's supposed to help with. Okay, these are travel probiotics. I never in my life have bought non-refrigerated probiotics until this trip. And I'm really not sure what I think about them. I was asking the lady at Whole Foods, like, why after 25 years of everybody freaking out that you cannot use probiotics unless they're refrigerated, suddenly you could buy them right off the shelf. And she was saying that just the way the capsules are made and it's just newer technology. And I have to do my research on that. But I didn't want to be without probiotics, so I bought them and I tried them. And... Um, you know, I'm really not sure what I have to say about it yet, but, um, you know, of course I'm a huge fan of regular probiotics because I find, um, and see all the differences that it makes in my body and in my life. But I don't know. I, I, you know, it's hard to say when you're traveling and I had so many issues this week, um, with my health that it's just hard to know what helped what, because I was doing so many things. Okay, this is a product I use all the time for my three-year-old and my 10-year-old if need be. This is just like a honey cough syrup. Again, I don't really think it like solves any major problems, but it definitely helps him stop coughing when he's trying to fall asleep. You know, I don't think it's going to get rid of your cold or flu. It's just like a little relief for the kids when their throat hurts. Um, okay, I'm going to move over to here. These are my homeopathy bags. So I can't, I'm not going to go through every single thing that's in here because I really have a lot, but I'll just sort of explain to you how I travel with this. So let's see. I mean, like, for example, this is like a little travel thing. If I send the kids to my parents' house, Belladonna, how to take it, five pellets, two times a day, what it's for. But this is what my homeopathy bag looks like. So you can see all of my homeopathy, um, every different one. Now, my personal homeopathies that I take come from my homeopathist, not my, um, not Whole Foods. Those little blue ones come from Whole Foods. These are the ones that my homeopathist makes for me. So you can see they look a little different. I really like these better. They just sort of like melt in your mouth. It's kind of like the difference, in my opinion, between like, you know, really good sushi versus like, you know, average sushi. Like really delicious sushi melts in your mouth. That's really the best way to explain it. Okay, so here's the, here's the situation. I do not leave home without my homeopathy books. This is sort of just like the over-the-counter one that, I don't know, they used to give this away. I don't know if they still do. Of course, I have much more in-depth homeopathy actual books at home, but this is a good travel one. But this one is just all of my notes from my appointments with my homeopath and my naturopath. So, you know, I like to refer to this. And by the way, this is a good idea. You know, when you speak to different doctors for your kids, you want to always try to have like the same notebook handy so that you can um, always refer back to it because the kids and you, you know, we always get reoccurring things. So it's good to have the notes right there. So for example, how I used my homeopathy this trip. So I always use my MagFoss for my heart. That is something I use every day. That's not even here. It's in my purse. But the this, this, this thing I needed to use on this trip was something called Pulsatilla because I, like I said, I was a little sick before I left and, um, and my ears were really bothering me. I actually at one point thought that I might have to go to a doctor, which is just crazy, but I did a ton of research and I decided to dose myself with Pulsatilla um, three times and I, you know, bypassed having any kind of ear infection or anything. But this is interesting. And again, another blog post I will do about this, but the whole ear situation and one of the things that I read about was to do a Valsalva maneuver to unclog your ears. And I think that's extremely fascinating that 
they want me, they, you know, that what I read about was to do these Valsalva maneuvers for the ears. And of course, as we know, Valsalva is a remedy for SVT. So this is going to like bring me back to, you know, why am I so sensitive? Why are we all so sensitive to things that involve um, Valsalva maneuvers and, you know, obviously the vagus nerve. So I'm going to be connecting some dots and doing some research on that because I'd like to know, maybe I need to start to research um, things from an, another direction just moving forward because that's so interesting. Okay, this is one left. This is my um, my krill oil. As you can see, I took all of them, one left. So love my krill oil. This is gonna help you with headaches, which I desperately needed on this trip. Um, I also had some vitamins in this case. My krill oil was in here, which is all gone. I have my vitamin Bs, which I love, which I take, especially when you're drinking alcohol and you want to, you know, not have a problem. You want to take your extra Bs with a glass of water for every, um, for every glass of alcohol that you drink. Oh, that's astragalus root in case I needed that. But I really haven't needed astragalus because of the... Um, two things that I swear by, well, actually three things, this, my oregano oil and this, which I'll get to in a second. And what else did I take? Oh, and I just took vitamin A in case I, in case you really do get sick and you want to just massively dose yourself. These are 10,000, um, I use of vitamin A and that's if you were super sick. Okay. Let's discuss this product. Are you guys getting bored yet? This is like a massive, this is like a a class but each of these videos are like six minutes and there's four so far I mean we're talking a 30 minute lesson here but I guess this is like all my tricks and tips so this is good information guys okay what can I even say about this advanced cellular silver so have you all heard of this yet this stuff is crazy spray this in your throat and get rid of anything um, also expensive I think this is like $40 a massage therapist told me about this and it's, it worked wonders for me. So like I said, I was super sick the night before I left, started getting the chills. It was just like out of a movie, ridiculous. I sprayed this, I took oregano oil, and I had taken this, which I don't recommend, by the way, mixing. I'm sort of just giving you the abbreviated version. I think I was taking this for like two days before. Then the night of, I switched over to this and oregano oil. So, you know, I hate to do that because then you don't know which one kicked it, but one of them worked wonders on me. All right, I'm gonna to try to speed this up. I'm obsessed with my sleep mask. I don't leave home without it. I sleep with it every night. Um, this is more stuff for kids. This is tummy TLC. Um, this is if your kids really get sick. This is an Advil cold, not Advil cold and sinus. This is just children's Advil. You know, I really don't like to give this to my kids, but if, if my kids, God forbid, get, a Luke runs a high fever sometimes. If he gets 104 fever and I don't have what I need to treat him, I'm definitely going to eventually give him some of that. Um, Echinacea Golden Seal. Again, I sort of have moved on from the herbs to homeopathy, but I still have this in my travel bags. Um, what else? I don't really use this so much anymore, the Vicks, the baby rub, because I use peppermint oil. I think I skipped over my oils. I don't even have them all here. So this is Young Living. I brought Thieves. I used this peppermint. I cannot tell you. I also put this on a Q-tip and put it um, very delicately on, you know, the openings of my ears when I had to, when I thought that I had an infection and I was trying to open things up. I ran out of my Sacred Mountain. So I have an empty Sacred Mountain here somewhere, which I love, which helps ground me. Um, so I always travel with my essential oils. You don't want to mix your essential oils with your homeopathy at the same time. So if you're going to use thieves, then um, take it separate from your homeopathy. What else do I have? Okay, this was just like in case of serious emergency. This is um, pink eye, leftover pink eye drops in case the kids got pink eye. And this was for like crazy rashes, like if you get poison ivy. I might have overdone it. I probably didn't have to take that. I brought these wipes, of course, antiseptic and regular, so that I completely wiped down the plane, the arms, the the um, tray table. So that is is huge. Oh, these things, I don't know what these were. I think something I got delivered on Amazon, and this is what I wrap my bottles in. This is important. You don't want your glass bottles to break, obviously. So wrap them up like this, roll them up, and then you can really be crazy like me and put them in individual Ziplocs and then pack them. I know I'm jumping around, but back to the um, progesterone cream. I, 
didn't want to take this whole thing in my bag since it was big, so I put a little bit in this travel thing in case I needed it on the plane. And then, um, you know, I don't want to get too involved, but this is like, this goes right in my pocketbook. So this is the oregano oil that I was talking about. These are some balloons in case you have an SVT. You can use a balloon, which I don't have SVT episodes ever anymore, so I don't really have to use that, but they're still in my bag in case you need it. I always like to be prepared. There's my Ricola. Um, there's essential oils in here. And my, um, what else can I show you? I think that that's it. I was going to say that my needleless syringe is in my wallet, in my pocketbook. Okay, everybody. So this all went into my travel case. This is what I travel with. I know it seems like a lot. It is. You could probably condense this, especially if you're not traveling with kids. Um, and I didn't go through all my homeopathy one by one with you. Here's my little case that I keep in my pocketbook. So um, I will go through these. Here's my pulsatilla that I took. Um, so anyway, I can go through these. Let me know if you guys want me to talk about what I use each one for. Like I did mention the Magfoss and the Pulsatilla as be as two that I use all the time and of course the Belladonna for the kids when they get fevers. But I can talk much more about that but I will leave on this note I'm a huge fan of homeopathy. I think it's the most underrated um, medicine that we have access to. It's absolutely incredible what the body um, does with homeopathy how quickly it works how effectively it works i just can't speak highly enough and i've been using it for years and i'm still a beginner so i mean i've been open to homeopathy and using it with me and my family for quite a while now and um and i still feel like i'm just at the tip of the iceberg so if you have a really good homeopathist it is worth the money to go and see them um, I, I used it when I had my, my son, my second son. I used it in the hospital. Um, I used it for, for um, feelings that I was having. That's what I love about it. It doesn't just treat your symptom. It treats the whole person. It treats your thoughts. It treats your feelings. It, if you're melancholy, if you have anxiety, I mean, it's just such a wonderful um, way to, to support ourselves naturally. Oh, my goodness, you guys, this is a lot of stuff. All right, I hope you enjoyed seeing what is in my travel suitcase for my trip. And I cannot tell you how much of this I used. And I'm definitely going to talk more about all the things that were wrong with me. I was at full-blown SVT risk and I did not have one because of all of the things that I do to support myself, um, including tons of water, as much sleep and rest as possible, and um, exercise, sunshine, grounding meditation, so many things that I do. I will talk more about it in the blog post. Okay, guys, happy travels.